Hello, bakers. Welcome to Upside Down. Today we are going to be checking. One second. So, we've been together almost a year, and during this time, I received many times the question what exactly is my workstation? I put this into the comments that I've been using an Intel based workstation, but it was a build that I made four or five years ago, so I tried to find kind of the best components also that are not going to break the bank. My old workstation has served me very well for the last four years plus for doing 3D animations as well as rendering and building games with Unreal. Just for a quick disclaimer to say that this video is not a sponsored video, I decided to make it for two reasons. First one being that a lot of you have been asking about my workstation. Second one because Intel, together with HP, surprised me for a little bit of a late Christmas by sending me a new workstation. It was an awesome surprise and something that I definitely didn't expect, but now that it's here, I'm sure that I'm going to put it to a good use for the next couple of years. In the fashion of the good spirit and vibes that Intel are sending towards our channel and community, I'm also going to give something to everyone that is watching this video. Watch the video to the end where I'm going to say what exactly I'm going to give away and how you can take it. Now I'm leaving you to enjoy a little bit of a footage of me unpacking the workstation and as well I'm going to comment of what exactly are the specs inside. My previous workstation was using an Intel i7 processor. I also had a 32 gigs of RAM and as well I had a GTX 1080 video card. All of this made a pretty good combination for rendering either with the CPU or the GPU and as well for developing something with game engines. But today this workstation is built on the base of HP Z4 G4 and it's packed with the almighty Intel Xeon 2292. It's an 80 core chip with 3 GHz. I'm expecting to see a huge improvement in my rendering and especially in all the tasks that are very processor heavy. There are a few reasons why in my work I preferred Intel builds. First one being reliability and stability of the processor themselves. And second one that most of the professional applications are optimized for working with Intel processors. This is great if you are getting paid by an hour because it means that you are going to be able to create more content for shorter period of time. This time instead of 32 gigs of RAM I have a 64 which is going to be a very welcome upgrade especially for some of those videos about open world games that we talked on the channel because with my 32 gigs actually when I was loading the whole scene for the world I was using already 28 so sometimes so sometimes I could feel that the PC is getting really, really slow. And if you haven't checked the video about my open world game creation, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Another important part of my build was also the graphics card. My previous one was a GTX 1080, while at the moment in the office where I'm working, I'm using an RTX 2080. But for the workstation that I just received, I went on Quadro. It's going to be very interesting for me how exactly it's going to perform and what exactly are going to be some of the benefits. I'm going to keep you up to date on that, so subscribe in order not to miss the upcoming videos and tutorials. Nani? Actually for the workstation you saw that I put a second GPU there as well, so I have two quadros. One is a Quadro P620 and the second one is an RTX 5000. A lot of the things that I've been doing in the last couple of months are being related to photogrammetry and as you know this might take a lot of hard drive. That's why the workstation as well was packed with an SSD where I can install all my software and as well I have a 4TB storage so that I can store all my files on the project that I work currently. 4 terabytes is enough for me because usually my projects don't go above 2 terabytes and this gives me plenty of space of working of 2 or 3 projects simultaneously and once a project is done I usually archive it and put it on my storage server. So now let's go back to my giveaway. I'm going to give to everyone that subscribes and leaves a comment down below of what workstation you guys are using, a free copy of my course about Meshroom and scanning assets and as well a small library of scanned materials and models that you can use to boost your projects. So subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below to tell me what workstations you are using. Also if you would like me to feature some of your work on the channel, go to the Upside Downs Reddit which can be found again in the description below and post your work there. I'm going to pick some of the best ones and make a review of them. Thank you for joining me in today's video, see you next time!